Hey guys, Steven here. So Ian Wallier won the Texas Pro and it was a very, very deserving win. It was obvious in the finals. In the pre-judging, it could have went either way. I'm pretty sure the judges weren't sure, but in the finals, it was clear as day. If Steve Kuklo somehow sharpened it up for the finals and Ian faded, then it would have been the other way. But this way, Steve was second and uh, Ian won and you can see why. I'm gonna show you, I'm showing you right now, the final comparison. You can see that Ian was just crisp. I mean, look at the hamstrings, look at the glutes, the back, everything. He was just so peeled. Phil Klahar was third, yes, even though he has an amazing back and amazing conditioning, still the size of the legs is just not enough, the stomach doesn't look good. He just has a couple of weak spots that are definitely exposed by these two mass monsters right here. So even though Steve was taller, Ian didn't get dwarfed, Ian looked just as big basically, yes, smaller frame, but still packing a, lot, a ton of muscle. Ian's posing, not great, pretty bad, if he posed better, if he held the poses for a little bit longer and just stood there, it would be better, but as you can see, I mean, you can't knock this guy, he deserved this victory for sure, this one was obvious, look at the conditioning in the legs, in the chest, everywhere man he was so peeled and i don't know what the hell did he do from the pre-judging to finals i'm curious to see him do a first interview and say what the hell happened what did patrick tour tell him to do because he came so much sharper it was insane it was just so obvious that he is winning this show fourth spot was the guy right here in the middle a youngster he had a pro debut at this show actually he's a training partner of brett wilkin his name is Martin Fitzwater, if I pronounce this correctly, and he had an absolutely insane back. I'm curious what these guys, both of them, Brett and him, are doing, what Matt Jensen is telling them to do with their backs, because they really have some impressive looking backs. I'm guessing Muhammad al was sixth, and as far as the rest of the lineup, we're gonna find out the results soon enough. But this was your top three. As you can see, the judges weren't really sure who's gonna place where, but at the finals, I think it was pretty obvious. I think Ian basically blew these guys away with the conditioning. He came super, super sharp, and a guy with this mass and this conditioning, it's just really hard. It's impossible to ignore and not give the victory to. Now, this is gonna be controversial because uh, Steve Kuklo is not going to the Mr. Olympia, and I think he missed all of his chances. That's it. He's just not gonna do it. And Ian won two shows. So, <laughs> Ian, Ian basically talked about this before, and uh, I'm happy for him, I'm a fan of Ian, and I think he deserved his victory, so, uh, Steve Kukla, it's his fault, I mean, uh, no one is to blame, he could have came sharper, if he was sharper, if he was in condition that Ian was in, he would have won this show, but he didn't, so, he's punished by losing. Just an amazing addition of Ian Wallier, I think this is his best ever, up to, uh, for sure, best ever, the most massive and the most conditioned he has ever been, and I don't know if he can surpass this at the Mr. Olympia or Arnold Classic, I hope he does, I really hope so, anyways, I'm a huge fan of Ian Wallier, I'm really happy he won this show, congrats, Ian. As far as 212, just like I thought, Ahmed Verdani finally won a show and qualified for the Mr. Olympia, and another very interesting thing happened, Guy Cisternino announced his retirement. I'm gonna talk about this a little bit more in the next video, but I wanted to post this one as soon as possible, so guys, thank you so much for watching, Ian Wallier won, the Texas Pro 2021, this was his second victory, are there gonna be more victories, Arnold Classic, Mr. Olympia, who knows, you guys tell me what do you think, like this video if you enjoyed it and please subscribe for more bodybuilding updates and videos, all kinds of bodybuilding videos, thank you so much for watching once again, all the best guys and bye bye.